Lifting Up Jesus, Opening His Word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here live in England with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, there was a comment on Morial TV uh, comparing you to actually a Gnostic because you uh, endorse and and encourage people to study the Greek and the Hebrew, and they they said that that's not putting your trust in the Holy Spirit who could lead you into all truth. Well. Does studying Greek and Hebrew make you smarter than the rest or, or a Gnostic? First of all, anyone who would equate Gnosticism with studying the scriptures in the original language is exhibiting a commensurate level of ignorance. It's an absurd statement. Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 8 tells us, that in understanding and expounding God's word, the priority is on the original meaning of the original languages. That's something God said, not me. It's something God put in his word. The priority is on the original meaning of the original languages. To say that that's Gnosticism is ridiculous. I don't think this person understands what Gnosticism is. Gnosticism is where you, it comes to the Greek word Gnosos, you claim a mystical knowledge or insight that's highly subjective into the text where you can spiritualize it or read something into it that's not there asegetically as opposed to exegetically taking out of it. Gnosticism hermeneutically is always asegetical. It's reading something into the text that is not there. Studying Greek and Hebrew in the original meaning of the original languages is not asegesis, it's exegesis. It's taking out of the scripture that which God put there. The word of God tells us to study to show yourself approved. Study and the illumination of the Holy Spirit are not mutually contradictory. They are mutually complementary. This idiotic notion that some Christians, apparently this questioner has, I'm just going to be led by the Spirit and read into... That's Gnostic. That's Gnostic. You're not objectively establishing the original meaning of the text. That's Gnostic. Oh, the Spirit will lead you into all, so I don't need to know the languages. This is a combination of idiocy and Gnosticism. That's Gnostic. At least you open yourself to the Gnostic influence of reading something into it that's not there. Gnosticism is asegetical. Studying the scriptures in the original languages is exegetical. They're diametric opposites. This person does not know what Gnosticism is. We are commanded, commanded, study to show yourself approved. If you don't want to study, God does not approve of you. We should not approve of people who do not study. Now, yes, based on Nehemiah 8 and based on common sense, there's an obvious advantage in knowing the original languages. That is clear. But to equate that with Gnosticism is a hideous suggestion. It is pathetic ignorance. Now, if this person is a newly saved person and is confused and they've only been saved a few months or a year, I apologize if I sound too aggressive in my response. But if it's not a new believer, if it's somebody who ought to know better, 
There's somebody who doesn't seem to know anything. This is not good. No, that's not what Gnosticism is. Yes, we are commanded to study to show ourselves approved. Yes, the Word of God tells us the priority is on the original meaning of the original languages. The illumination, the guidance of the Holy Spirit in studying God's Word is not mutually exclusive with His Spirit guiding us. The spirit guiding us and study are not mutually exclusive. You either do this or you do... No, it's not like that. You do both. You do both. Our intellect is a servant. Our spirit, illuminated by the Holy Spirit, he's the master. The mind serves our spirit that is controlled by the Holy Spirit when we study God's word. This person does not seem to understand the most basic things about God's Word. I'm sorry, but whoever they are, they don't. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless and thank you so much.